took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. And so I'm going to bless the bread and the juice that we'll eat after. Amen. Amen. Lord, I thank you, oh Lord God. We bless you, God. Yes, God. For the bread. Yes, God. That symbolizes, oh God, your broken body on the cross. Yes, God. Lord, we thank you, oh Lord God. For what you've done for us. Hallelujah. For me. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the blood that you shed, oh God. Oh, yes. Because without the blood, there is no remission of sin. I thank you, God, for the blood that you shed. Thank on the you for the blood, God. Thank you for the blood. Ooh, we owe you, God. We can't God, pay God, you God. enough, oh God, but we bless you and we thank you, oh Lord God. Yes, God. For doing it for us, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God, we bless you, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let us eat and drink together. Thank God for his blood. We thank God for Evangelist Christie. 
He's doing an awesome job. Come on, let's praise God. For the Lord, the ministry of community today. Certainly, it gets me every time when I think about the awesome sacrifice that God made for us. One of the songwriters said, just for me, he did it. Just for me. I'd have been the only one on earth. He came and did it. Just for me. Amen. And let me say this also. I'm so glad to see some of you I haven't seen in a while. It's so good to see your face back in the house of the Lord. It's so good to see you again. We miss you. Amen. Brother Percy, sister, too. We miss y'all. Amen. That Brother Percy was coming back. Was it last week, Brother Percy? He was on his way back, coming and on his motorcycle, and his tire blew out on his motorcycle. Now, he could have been dead, but God still spared him to take it back into the house of God. And we're so glad to see you. So glad to see Sister Mandy. Amen. Amen. Gave birth to a beautiful baby. And uh, now she's back to the house of the Lord. So glad to see each and every one of you. I don't take it lightly when you come to the house of the Lord. Now, I'm going into the Word of God, and I'm going to be true to my Word. I'm going to watch my watch. So, uh, try not to get too excited so I get y'all out of here. Uh, I did have a message last night. I was telling my, work, my wife, I didn't have a message all the way up to 11 o'clock last night. And I told the Lord, I said, oh, it's been a long time since you let me go this long without a word. And all of a sudden, at 11.30, he dropped the word. I said, you didn't have to wait so long, <laughs> But I, I thank you. He's faithful to give you a word. And so I, I want to direct your attention to two passages of scripture. Uh, I think it's going to be advantageous to you if you are saved. How many saved people have got in the house this morning? All right. This, this, this message is going to bless you, uh, I believe. Because uh, it's something we need to know. So let's go to Isaiah 6 and 1. Isaiah 6 and 1, and then Psalms 93 and 1. Isaiah 6 and 1. Psalms 93 and 1. That's it, God. Come set to your feet. Thank you for your work, God. Isaiah 6 and 1, Isaiah 6 and 1. If you have it, say amen. 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 That, can we read it together? Let's read only one verse. Let's read together. Come on, ready? Let's read. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up. Fill the temple. Amen. Amen. Psalms 93, verse 1. We're going to read, and when I say stop, y'all stop, okay? Psalms 93 and 1. Let's read. The Lord. Stop. Sit down. Y'all can have a seat. The Lord reigneth. The Lord reigneth. Isaiah 61 and 1 tells us in the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah said, I also saw the Lord. He was high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. David come back and say, Isaiah, I agree with you. The Lord reigns. Yes, yes, yes. So both of them have come to the same conclusion. I'm going to use what's the topic. Somebody look at somebody and, and encourage them and say this. God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this message that you gave me. Uh,
studied as much as I could. I prayed. I believe this is what you would want your people to hear. Use me for these next few minutes for your glory. May the people hear your word and not me. May they hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We appreciate your presence. We certainly appreciate your word. And I ask one thing. If you would just do anything, God, have your way in this house. Have your way, God. Somebody needs you today, God. Somebody came here with a need, God. You promised to supply all our needs. According to the original glory, just do what you do, God. And we certainly give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. amen. Come on, give God one more praise for his word. God is still on the throne. There, there, there was a word in the text in Isaiah that caught my attention. And uh, I often say, in order to get a revelation from the Lord, and some of you may have gotten it before, if you get a revelation, I call it a wow moment. Amen. It's, it's, it's when the Lord shows you something that you didn't see there before. I don't know if any of y'all ever experienced that. Of course, if you don't never study, you'll never experience it. David said in Psalm 119, and 18, open thou my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Yeah. There's a spiritual eye you have that's able to catch the deep things of God. Yeah. If the spirit would prompt you to see what may be on the surface, may not look like much, but it, as you delve, you see that there's something in it. Yeah. And that's what God did with me in this, in this passage. In the year, he said, in the year that King Uzzah died, I saw, and here's the word that got me, also. I saw also the Lord. It did not say in the year that King Uzzah died, I saw the Lord, but I saw what? Also the Lord. Let me tell y'all this. There are times when seeing the Lord is critical to your survival. Yes. There are times when, when I talk about seeing God, I mean, uh, there are times you need to sense God more than at other times. And so, uh, when he says, I also saw the Lord, that means he also saw something before he saw the Lord. So if, if he also saw the Lord, then what is it that he saw before he saw the Lord? He saw something he wasn't expecting. He saw an unoccupied throne. Wow. Wow. What did he see? He saw an unoccupied throne. Who over Israel. And I, I can imagine because when you read the scriptures it doesn't show you the tenses of how they're feeling but I can imagine his faith was challenged. Because, because not only is the throne vacant but his hero is dead. So he got two challenges here. The throne is empty and his hero is dead. I, I, I submit to morning that Isaiah suffered from hero worship. He suffered from worshiping a man. And Uzzah had become a rival for the affection and trust that rightfully belonged to God. He had shifted his trust from God to Uzzah. And then when Uzzah died, some of his hope died. Oh Some of his faith died. Yes, so, my thing is this. Many of y'all, if you don't know the story of Uzzai, you don't, you don't know why he died, but Uzzai, I, I challenge you to study him, was a great king when he started off. He, he made great reforms in Israel and tore down the high places and really did a wonderful job of restructuring Israel. And he was a very well-loved king, but 
the, in the latter years of his life, he stepped out of the will of God. It don't matter how long you serve it, it only matters how, you, how well you finish. Doesn't matter how you start, it matters how you finish. And us, I started well. But his finish was not so well because he stepped way out of line when it comes to God. And uh, because of that, the Bible said that God struck him with leprosy. This great king who had made such great reforms is now struck with leprosy because of his evil doings. Now he wasn't evil to the point where he was doing just to, to, to terrible things. But he was evil in that he was doing things he wasn't supposed to do. He was trying to take the place of the priest and all these other things and he was trying to become a one man show. How many know this? The, the, the church ain't made of one man. SOE is not Bishop Ramsey. SOE is a collection of saints trying to do the will of God. And I'm playing my part. I'm doing my part. My part is the pastor servant. Okay? What did I just say? I'm the pastor servant. I'm not doing this to be served, Ellen. I'm doing it because it's my service to you. And whatever you give you got, how do you know that is supposed to be your service to the Lord? was messing up. Now here's the thing. It's possible that Isaiah was ignoring Uzziah's mess ups because Uzziah was his hero. Let, let, let me see if I can make it plain. Y'all know how we do uh, when our friends or our loved ones mess up. We tend to overlook what they do. Mm 